Hey folks, today I'll be showing you around my triple boot Ryzen Hackintosh, including the major build components, the operating systems I have up and running on it, the drive setup for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and lastly, the performance and functionality of Mac OS itself. Before we get started, please take a moment to like the video, to please that almighty YouTube algorithm, and leave a comment below on any future videos you might want to see or your experience building your own Hackintosh. So during all this coronavirus craziness, I am actually staying with my uncle in Coronado, which is quite a privilege. Although it does mean that I have a makeshift setup for the time being, which means I will be recording my setup from the closet. As far as the primary components of this computer are concerned, I have an RX 5700 XT for the graphics card, a Ryzen 3600X for the CPU, and an, a Tuf Gaming X570 for the motherboard. A more thorough look at all the components of this build specifically will be covered in a future video concerning this build. Now as far as drives are concerned, I have an NVMe drive for the Windows operating system, and then for Linux and Mac OS, I'm sharing a one terabyte M.2 SSD. As far as the operating systems on this machine are concerned, my daily driver as of right now is Windows 10. I have it as the only OS on my Samsung 970 Evo NVMe, and I use it for video editing, gaming, and web browsing primarily. Concerning Linux, I am currently running Elementary OS, which is built on top of Ubuntu. I use this with relative frequency for SSHing into school servers and coding projects and the like. I'm a computer science major, so I do use Linux a decent amount. And I will, in the future, be experimenting with other distributions, but for now, I am using Elementary OS. So the version of Mac OS that I'm running is Catalina 10.15.3, which at the time of filming is the most recent version of Mac OS. And the primary use for Mac OS at this point is simply a hobby project, although in the future I hope to use it as my daily operating system for convenience since I have an iPhone, I can iMessage, FaceTime, that sort of thing, in addition to regular web browsing, video watching, things of that nature. It's very important when setting up a computer that will boot to multiple operating systems to consider very carefully how you set up your hard drives, or SSDs in this case as well. For me, I set up Windows taking up the entirety of my 500 gigabyte Samsung 970 Evo and VME SSD. It's the fastest storage I have and I'm going to be using this operating system the most so to me it made sense to have the entire operating system solely on this SSD. Now as far as Mac OS and Linux are concerned, they're sharing 200 gigabytes and 100 gigabytes respectively on a one terabyte M.2 SSD. This M.2 SSD is by Western Digital. It's over the SATA interface, so it's not quite as fast as my NVMe, but it's still quite fast. I would recommend having whatever operating systems you're running on an SSD. Now that other 700 gigabytes of that M.2 SSD I use for general storage. It's formatted as XFAT, so it can be used by any of the three operating systems that I have, and I currently use it largely for storing games for my Windows, but also can use it for general files that I want to access quicker than my two four terabyte hard drives that I use mostly for storing videos, long-term file storage, documents, things of that nature. So now we're just going to take a side-by-side -side look at the boot times for each operating system. We have elementary OS on the left, Windows in the middle, those are the first two to finish, with Mac OS finishing slightly after, but the boot times are all very similar for these operating systems. So now I'll just give a quick little synopsis on what is working, what isn't working, and what I haven't yet tested on Mac OS. As far as what is working, iMessage and iCloud are working through my phone just fine. 
I have access to all common files as long as they're XFAT formatted. So any partitions or full drives that are XFAT formatted will work just fine for reading files and such for all operating systems. As far as internet is concerned, Ethernet is working great. And as far as everything else is concerned, most apps and services open and work without a hitch. So as far as what's not working, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and sleep functionality. Wi-Fi, I hope to get up and running and should be relatively easy. You just need a PCIe Wi-Fi card or a Wi-Fi dongle for USB. I'll probably use the latter just because it's cheaper and easier. And I plan on getting that working because it's not always super accessible to have a LAN port nearby. And then for Bluetooth, I may just not be able to get it to work simply because the X570 is not always compatible with Bluetooth and Mac OS. So we'll see if I'm able to get that working. And as far as sleep functionality, it's not important to me anyways. So I've simply turned it off and it will just put on a screensaver, but it won't go to sleep. So I'll always be able to move the mouse, click the keyboard and wake up the computer. And then as far as what I haven't yet tested, FaceTime has not been tested, but I will do that in the future once I get a webcam. It'll be useful just for convenience instead of having to do it through my phone or whatnot. So I will test that in the future and hopefully get that working as well. Well, that's been a look at my triple boot Ryzen Hackintosh. I highly recommend going out and trying this yourself as not only is it a fun hobby project, but it's kind of a cool flex. Not to mention when you finally figure out how to get it working, it's a really satisfying feeling. If you would like to see a video on the benchmarks of this machine running Mac OS, or perhaps a tutorial on how exactly I got this running Mac OS, please let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate you for watching. I hope I've earned a like on this video and your subscription to my channel. I really appreciate any and all support. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.